So what exactly happened when SpaceX's Starship rocket blew up on November 18th of 2023? How did it impact the Earth's upper atmosphere? Now, there's some very surprising data that scientists gathered about this explosion. And also, what are the broader consequences of such a disturbance in the ionosphere? Now, back in November 18th of 2023, SpaceX's second launch attempt of its Starship rocket ended in failure. The Starship, which is the largest and most powerful rocket ever constructed, launched from Boca Chica, Starbase, Texas, aiming to continue its journey into space. However, four minutes after liftoff, the rocket's first stage, the Super Heavy Booster, exploded at an altitude of about 56 miles. And the first explosion was unexpected, but the drama continued and didn't end there. Now, after the booster separated from the upper stage, the surviving portion of the spacecraft reached an altitude of 93 miles before another explosion occurred. The second, larger explosion, referred to as a rapid unscheduled disassembly, sent shockwaves through not only the mission, but also the atmosphere, creating a significant disturbance in the ionosphere, which is a region of charged particles between 50 to 400 miles above the Earth's surface. Now, a new study published in the Geophysical Research Letters provides insight into what happened during the explosions. The research shows that the Starship incident caused a temporary hole in the form in the ionosphere, which is typically disrupted by natural phenomena like solar flares or volcanic eruptions. The study marks the first time that scientists have documented a human-made explosion creating such a hole, which makes this event particularly intriguing. Now, the ionosphere is a vital part of Earth's atmosphere, playing a key role in radio and GPS communications, and the region consists of ions and electrons created by solar radiation, and any significant disturbances to this layer could have consequences for technological systems. Now, the formation of the hole following the Starship explosion gives scientists new data to understand how such disruptions can affect satellite-based systems and even human activities dependent on ionospheric stability. Now, according to uh, Yuri Yasikovich, lead author of the study and atmospheric physicist at the Russian Academy of Scientists Institute of Solar Terrestrial Physics, the shockwaves generated by the rocket as it traveled faster than the speed of sound created acoustic waves in the ionosphere. And these waves were different from those typically produced by rocket launches. Yasukovich noted that they had a very large amplitude, but the most unexpected thing was that there were many oscillations and that the waves were propagating in a northerly direction. Now, this observation surprised the researchers, as rocket-induced waves are usually seen moving in a southerly direction. And the explosions also caused electrons in the ionosphere to disappear, neutralizing the region for a brief period. And these electrons normally play a critical role in the ionosphere's functioning. So their sudden disturbance effectively created a temporary hole in this part of the atmosphere. Now, the hole was significant, though, spanning about 1,200 miles. And what makes this event stand out is the fact that the hole was created not through chemical reactions from rocket fuel, which typically disrupt the ionosphere, but from the sheer force of the explosions themselves. Usually such holes are formed as a result of chemical processes in the ionosphere due to interaction with engine fuel. Uh, Yasakovich explained, and he said that the uniqueness of this incident was very special. But fortunately, the disruption in the ionosphere was temporary. Researchers found that the hole healed after about 30 to 40 minutes. Although this particular event was unusual, the ionosphere is often affected by both natural and human activities. Previous rocket launches have also caused disturbances, as have natural events like volcanic eruptions and geomagnetic storms. Now, for instance, a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket launch in July of 2023 resulted in a brief ionospheric hole and the launch of a U.S. Space Force satellite caused a similar phenomenon. Both events, however, involved interactions between the ionosphere and rocket fuel, which are more commonly documented. 
Now, in contrast, the Starship explosion was notable for its massive amplitude and the non-chemical nature of the ionospheric hole. The research team gathered data from over 2,500 ground-based stations across North America and the Caribbean to study the extent of this disturbance. These stations, which receive satellite navigation signals, provided a detailed picture of how these shock waves from explosions impacted the atmosphere and the researchers were able to trace the holes of fracks from the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico all the way to southern United States. Now, one of the most puzzling findings of this study was the size of the disruption caused by the explosion. Isukovich acknowledged that um, the researchers were surprised by how large the hole was, stating, it means we don't understand processes which take place in the atmosphere. It suggests that there's still much to learn about how human activities, such as rocket launches, affect the ionosphere. And while the hole caused by the Starship explosion healed relatively quickly, the study raises questions about the potential long-term impacts of frequent rocket launches on the ionosphere, especially when SpaceX wants to do hundreds of these launches per year. And with the increasing frequency of space missions and the growing reliance on satellite technology, understanding how the ionosphere reacts to these disturbances is becoming more important. Now, the ionosphere is not only essential for radio communications and GPS, but also is a protective layer that shields Earth from harmful solar radiation. Any significant disruption to this layer could have implications for both technological systems and human health. Although the Starship-induced ionospheric hole was temporary with a, uh, you know, a rare opportunity to study how such events unfold in real life for scientists, the Starship's fiery end, while it's a setback for SpaceX, has proven to be a boon for atmospheric science. Events like these, which are difficult to replicate under controlled conditions, allow researchers to observe the effects of explosions on the ionosphere that could, would otherwise go unnoticed. Now, such catastrophic phenomena, such as the explosion of Starship, are interesting precisely because you can see effects that equipment is not able to detect in weaker events, Yasikovich said. This study also provides valuable insight for future missions involving autonomous vehicles and satellite navigation systems which rely on precise readings from the ionosphere. Disruptions like those caused by the Starship explosion could potentially interfere with these technologies, making it important to understand the conditions under which such disturbances occur. The ionosphere is regularly impacted by external factors, including solar activity and human-made rockets. Natural events such as geomagnetic storms and solar flares frequently produce dazzling displays of light, like the auroras. And SpaceX is at fault for the first ever human-recorded made disturbance. It should be noted that according to scientists, the hold and the charged particles from the explosion went away in a few minutes. The damage was temporary and will not affect all of us down here on Earth. Now, I want to say thank you for watching today. Please take a second and hit the like and smash the subscribe button with maximum dynamic pressure. Also, please leave a comment about how you feel about this news. It's an interesting one for sure. And as always, please take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.